In this project, which was using generative design to create the layout for an office space for Autodesk in Toronto, we actually started by figuring out what were the high-level aspirations for the space. We honed in on six separate goals for a good office layout. And these goals included things like trying to factor in all of the adjacency preferences of all 200 or 300 people in the space, trying to factor in the work style preferences of those same people, but then also trying to calculate some overall factors of the space, like the amount of daylight uh, that came into the space, the views to the outside that were available. There are actually a few different physical features of the built space that kind of show the traces of the generative design process. One of them is that the grid of lighting fixtures for the space is oriented to show the areas of high activity. So if you look up at the ceiling, you can see that the lights are pointing in different directions and that has been tuned so that those lights are all pointing to the spaces of high activity for this selected design. And that's one of the design goals for the space, to create a space with good activity and interconnectivity. Another physical feature of the space is the games room, which is literally painted with uh, the different colors that come out of the daylight simulation from the space. When generative design can navigate a really large design space and create many, many design options, many more than a human could manually create, that gives us the possibility as humans with judgment and values and creativity to explore possibilities that wouldn't be possible otherwise.